The American island of Saipan is a remote 12 by 5 miles speck in the Pacific, with sandy beaches, World War II relics, and the most successful casino in all of the Asia Pacific, if not the world. All from temporary tables tucked at the end of a duty-free strip mall. Across the street, Hong Kong listed Imperial Pacific is building a more permanent $550 million casino resort. By far, it's going to be the uh, most luxurious um, hotel and integrated resort in Saipan, for sure. Five hours from most mainland cities, Saipan is a new choice for Chinese high rollers, perhaps wary of Beijing's corruption crackdown. As that VIP story gets weaker in Macau, it should pop up. It's like pressing the balloon down. It's going to pop up somewhere else, and that somewhere else, in this case, is Saipan. Eye-popping, to say the least. Revenue from the makeshift casino with just 16 VIP tables already generates a reported per table daily revenue of about $170,000. That's eight times that of the grandest Macau casinos. VIP bets totaled $13.5 billion in the first half of the year. Industry veterans question how that's even possible. They see a cautionary tale in the Dynasty Casino on the next door island of Tinian also American soil, that closed last year after U.S. authorities fined it for violations of anti-money laundering rules. Sources tell Bloomberg the same U.S. Treasury unit is looking into the activities of Imperial Pacific. CEO Mark Brown told Bloomberg he's unaware of any investigation, but says Imperial Pacific is very transparent. I've heard every question that you have in your mind, Brown said. All my guys, my friends in Macau say this is bull. It can't be real, but he says they are real bets. We don't want to do anything to break the law. Brown declined to appear on camera. Brown has corralled some heavy hitters on the board, plus advisors stretching straight to Washington, D.C., including former CIA director James Woolsey, former FBI director Louis Frey, and the former heads of both the Democratic and Republican parties, Ed Rendell and Haley Barber. Not to mention, Brown learned the gaming business from U.S. President-elect Donald Trump when Brown ran Trump's casinos in Atlantic City. Back in Saipan, the head of the local gaming commission says, watchdogs are in place. This is America. Movement of money we track 1,000 percent. Local House Minority Leader Ramon Tebuteb is not convinced. He voted against the casino bill that he says was hurried into law. It granted a single 40-year gaming monopoly to Imperial Pacific. Very grave concern. I fear our people getting the bad side of this whole deal. I can guarantee you that the board, the, the, the commissioners that sit on this commission, are independent. We do not cahoot with the licensee. Uh, it would be far-fetched. Yeah, I would have to ask you what type of drugs you're using to come up with that kind of conjecture. Local proponents say Saipan badly needs the tens of millions of dollars in fees and gaming taxes each year. That includes a replenishment of the island's pension fund that's run dry. Brown says the island is broke. But even the former head of the Retirees Association on Saipan says, from a social perspective, the casino is not worth the wager. Gambling is just taking money from A and putting, giving it to B. It is not a way to make money. A scale 1 to 10, 10 being good, I think it's 1. Bad deal. Bad deal. The Imperial Pacific Casino, the first of several planned phases, will deal its first hand early next year. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Saipan.